Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Aries. How's everybody? Hope you're well. Let's see what's happening. Any updates, any news of new connections, new love prospects? Who's interested in you, Aries, and what you need to know? Or who you're interested in? Let's see what's going on, Aries. Oh, there we go, Six of Pentacles. Hmm, you may have a few people reaching out. Aries, somebody wants to. There's something going on here. Ah, yes, there we go. You're definitely not settling. I can see that. You know what you want. This, the Earth Mother, Empress energy. Yeah, you're not settling for breadcrumbs. You may have a few people reaching out a little bit here and there, and you may you. I, I feel like you're just not interested. You're you're looking for something special here when you're in that Empress energy. Yeah, four of cups. You may have people reaching out. You're not interested. They they're either not good enough, or you feel like they're just breadcrumbing, or you're just not interested. You may be reaching out back and forth a little, but yeah, you're not so sure this is somebody who's valuing you, someone who who sees your worth. I do feel as though there's definitely this. I mean, it could be just a bored energy too. People are reaching out just when they're bored, or you're bored with the breadcrumbing. Yeah, you definitely got something going on here, Aries see what's going on clear messages for Aries regarding new love connections new love prospects what's going on with you Aries Aries there we go oh yes look at that yeah you definitely want there there is some kind of a connection here yeah you want love yeah you're not settling though you it looks like you've got people if you haven't had anyone reach out you may have someone who uh, drops a hint to that kind of thing and you may not be sure what they really want or if they value you or they even get you but there is this energy of something new there's something new about to start yeah, you may not be sure if someone reaches out if you want to start something you're looking for love you want someone who reciprocates equally and i feel yeah you want the real deal you have this king of, ooh, we have the king and queen of cups. There may be somebody here. Let's get these cards out there. And then you've got this one here. Oh my goodness, Aries, look at that. Yeah, you have a king of swords, a king of cups. You may have a couple of people reaching out. There's someone here you're not interested in for sure. And I feel, yeah, you've got someone here who wants to offer you something. There is someone who may be, you may even have someone who's, you know, got a lot of feelings for you here. There's something to do with this harvest, and this is a lot of abundance. Someone sees the possibilities, but you want the real deal. You want reciprocity. You want that equal give and take. Some of you are, you know, you want someone to love and nurture, someone to care for, but you want it back, and I feel like whoever it is that's reaching out, you're just not interested, or they're not, they're breadcrumbing, and you're probably getting a little bored with it. And then we have the... Whew, temperance energy, yeah. So you're tempering yourself. You're kind of holding back. You're being kind of patient. You want that somebody who's stable, someone you can rely on. I feel as though you have someone who's thinking of you. It's probably the same person, but you could have a couple of people. There's someone here that's, I feel there's someone who does see the possibilities that's thinking of you. They want to reach out. They want something stable, but I'm not so sure you're sure. If this person, like there's something here where you're just, you're either bored of the breadcrumbing or you're not interested in the people who are reaching out because you want that, you want the real deal here. And I feel as though you're just in that not settling energy. And that's what I feel is this overall. So you're being patient, you're, you're tempering your thoughts, your emotions. You have somebody here who is thinking about you. I do feel there is something here. Someone is going to reach out. They feel maybe there's some kind of chemistry but you want that safety security you want someone stable someone you can rely on and that's what you're waiting for wow yeah with this harvest though there is a lot of abundance a lot of possibilities somebody may be thinking that way someone might be wondering if you are seeing someone else too so they might be holding back and not so sure if they should you see that yeah you've definitely got 
somebody around you, possibly two. Some of you might have a couple of options, but I feel it's mostly someone that, who has some feelings for you. This is, you know, the King of Cups is someone who likes to be indulged. They like to be nurtured and cared for, sometimes have very deep feelings, but they have a tendency to keep it to themselves because there is this level of caution. Someone that wants to reach out may be thinking you have other options. Yeah, we have this Sagittarius energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, and Libra energy. Gemini energy is fairly strong. Yeah, you might have a couple of people who have feelings that want to reach out. And they do see you as this queen of chalices. I feel as though, you know, you want this. Like you have this this energy of this empress you're holding out for the best and i feel as though there's people someone may reach out that you're going to regret or someone's worried that you will uh, kind of reject them so they're not really sure what to say so you may get someone who drops hints they could be a libra a taurus any of these signs that i mentioned but i do feel that someone does see the possibilities and someone's wondering yeah there's someone who wants to know they're thinking wondering if you they're just sort of holding back a little bit here this temperance energy being patient maybe waiting for the right time they do see this is someone who's looking for that clarity and I can see here, too, that there's this energy where you want to know what someone's intentions are to feel that there's something stable, that you can rely on someone. You want to know their intentions. Yeah, Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's dig into this. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't want to be exploited. You want to be valued. Yeah, you're not accepting anyone who's breadcrumbing or they're not willing to uh, reciprocate. But look at it right there you have something going on someone it could be someone who's just trying to get some clarity and whether you're in a commitment they're sort of holding back thinking tempering their thoughts their emotions six of pentacles for aries here we go yeah there you go you've got someone who's kind of holding back they're looking for clarity maybe strategizing thinking about reaching out gemini libra aquarius yeah definitely somebody with libra in their chart could be a Libra, really could be anyone. This is a decision. Someone's about to make a decision, but they're holding back, tempering their thoughts. They want to make sure that, I feel like they just, what they're trying to find out is if you're seeing anyone else, if you're in any kind of a relationship. This is someone who's thinking about commitment, stability, a solid foundation. Whew. There's some kind of connection here. Yeah, I, I see you here walking away from something. But you know, it is possible you have someone who's thinking of a reconciliation. It could be someone who's walked away from you in the past or vice versa. But I feel like you want that emotional fulfillment. You're heading towards it. You're not settling for breadcrumbs. Yeah, I feel as though you got people that you're just bored with or you're getting offers that aren't good enough. You're just not interested or maybe you're just not sure. This is also this person, too. They're thinking, should they reach out? They're making this decision. They're, this is someone who's really up in their head. Should they walk away or should they move forward? And I feel they're worried about rejection or you won't be interested in them. Four of Cups. Aries, Aries, what is cooking? Yeah, moving forward. Yeah, there is definitely someone who's thinking they should move away to avoid a disaster. And that very well could be yourself. You want this love. You want something of value this is the birth of something new as well so it very well could be a new person maybe someone it could be somebody from your past i hate to say it but it's possible right i know a lot of people don't want to hear it but you may have someone here who was up in their head too much thinking with their head over their heart they may have let you walk away they may be coming back around. You know, they feel like there's this distance between you and someone. There's a lack of communication. This is an energy of learning as well. This is sort of learning as you go, taking the things you learned and move on. Like that's where you're at. Should you walk away? 
I, I feel like this is coming, I, but I feel like it's mostly this person. Should they move forward or should they move away? This is someone who's trying to learn something, okay? Because I can see this down here. They're trying to figure out if you have other options, if you're seeing anyone. They see that it is a possibility you're already in some kind of a relationship. So they don't know everything, but there's a need for that truth, that clarity. So that's Seven of Swords. This is someone who's trying to figure out, should they come towards you or should they walk away? Yeah, you got that head over heart kind of uh, thinking here. Somebody who's rather strategic. It's a judgment. It's a decision. For some of you, it could be someone who's wanting a reconciliation. You may just walk away. You may not be interested. You may take the things you learn and move on. You're having some kind of an epiphany. But I see this choice in love here. It could go in a couple different directions, Aries. Yeah, you have people, you have some, there's competition. There's definitely some kind of competition. I feel like you're ready to, like you're ready for love. You're sitting right here in the middle. You're ready to offer that cup to someone, but you want that reciprocity. So I do feel like it could even be yourself that's taking action, but I feel there's someone here too. Like there's a couple of people. Ah, I see a Taurus energy in here as well it's not heavy so i feel as though that's somebody you won't be interested in not so sure about anyone with libra gemini or aquarius energy you know this is someone who's trying to be logical they're trying to look at all the possibilities they see the possibilities of having something stable but they're tempering this this is someone who's sort of pulling back looking at you there may be someone who's looking at you different than they did before Okay, and this could be yourself as well, pulling back, looking at things different. You may have someone who's right for you, someone who's not. So I feel like this is your energy here too, is where you're, you know, taking something that you're learning. You know, this is lessons, things you've learned in the past and moving forward. I see some kind of truth. I feel like you have someone who wants to come in and speak a truth here. Uh, they're trying to come up with some ideas. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. Yeah, someone wants to take action. There are some obstacles here, but I feel like there is someone who's looking to see if there's competition. I really do. Uh, they might be trying to figure out if there is, or maybe there is, and they're trying to figure out how to take action. And then we have that, yeah, you there. there is some kind of an offer. You're, you've got an offer. Someone's offering you that big cup. That's a seed. So it will be an emotional offer when this person comes towards you. Like you could have, like I said, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it really, like I said, it could be all one person going through these emotions. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there's someone here who sees your value, sees your worth. I feel like you're open to it, like you're open to this. Uh, but you want to receive this. This is something that I feel as though you're requiring. You want that emotional connection. And you are open. And once this person does, you will shower that abundance on somebody. You have a lot to offer here. So it could be yourself getting ready to offer a cup, opening up to someone. But it could be the other way around. Yeah, look at that. You have a lot of power here. Using all the power you have to control your emotions, you're staying in this energy of this empress. You're open to love, but you're valuing yourself. You want something of value, something of worth. So that's that. Be careful what you wish for. But you could be getting something you want. But it could be this person here seeing you as everything they could wish for. They may be trying to come in and take control of this. But I feel as this is an energy where it's don't let things get out of control. Keep your emotions in balance. Uh, offer up one cup. Don't give all of yourself to somebody until you're sure that this person values you. And that's where I feel like you're at. The harvest. Aries, Aries. Yeah, you definitely got something cooking. Now, whether you're aware of this or not, because I feel as though you're ready, like you're ready to offer a cup. There's that nine of cups right there where you're ready, like you know what you want. And I feel like you have a lot of power, but you're controlling your emotions. You're using that, the all that emotional energy you have to just offer a little, so like hold back. Don't let things, don't go too fast. 
you don't want anyone who comes in too quickly, you know, but you want that fresh new start. Like, I feel like you're really ready for it. You've likely gone through a healing. We know with the Mother Earth, that's a healing energy, uh, releasing stuff, walking away from drama, walking away from people who don't value you, that breadcrumb you, because you're not open to that. I can see you've got your back turned here and because you want the real deal. So there's this work. Yeah, you've got somebody here. It could be somebody you worked with in the past. Someone maybe is looking at the options, wondering, you know, wondering if you have something. They could be watching you or just thinking about you. I feel like there's something here. Someone is putting a lot of energy in. It's a lot of mental energy. This is someone seeing the possibilities that something could work out. Okay, this is putting a lot of work towards something. This definitely... Some of you too, like I see a little work energy. I feel like there's something that you're creating as well, that you're working very hard on. You're looking at all the possibilities. You're making some kind of choice, some kind of decision. But this is that person, King of Swords. Yeah, you want the truth, nothing but the truth. Yeah, I feel like you may have a Taurus around you or a Taurus Gemini cusp or really could be anyone. But this is your tradition, belief and behavior. I feel as though you definitely speaking the truth. You want some kind of commitment. You want stability. You want to feel safe and secure. I do feel like you're, there's something you're thinking about too to do with work at the possibilities. Something that will bring you um, solid financial foundation here. This is really quite interesting. But I do feel like there is someone who is a Taurus. You may be cutting this person out. I feel as though you'll be truthful and honest to this person. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think you do. I think there's someone here like, because I see you speaking some kind of truth. I see you talking, communicating, making something very clear. It is to do with your tradi with tradition. There's someone here. It's about getting on the same page, being on the same path. It's about habit, traditions, beliefs, and behaviors the way you're conducting yourself yeah you're speaking your truth you're definitely being very wise i do feel like you could be cutting someone out that has some taurus in their chart because you're not on the same page it, yeah it could be somebody you work with and i feel like you don't really want to put the work into anyone unless you have the face that you know that they're stable so there's that love that choice yeah you want that safety and security you want to know this is that physical connection that love this is two people who build each other up you want that kind of connection i feel like you're willing to work for this but you want that that solid foundation and i feel like you have like it's almost like you've got uh, gemini libra aquarius maybe two people that have some air in their chart one of them may have taurus uh, could be a gemini energy Tell me about the temperance energy. Why is this here for Aries? Temperance energy. Yeah, so there is a little bit of confusion. Yeah, there is some, that's a temptation. So there is, you are tempted or somebody's tempted to reach out. But I feel there's things that are hidden. You're going to pull back. You definitely have someone you're tempted by, but I do feel like you're not going to go for it or somebody may try to tempt you. Just a little caution, especially if they're Taurus, okay? Because I feel like there's something where you're not on the same page, not on the same path, yeah. So yeah, you're not interested in someone. And it's it. I do feel like it's a rejection, uh, but because we have the Queen of Cups and the Empress here, you're gonna be you know kind about this. It's a thank you, but no thank you. You're not interested. There's something about them, it would never work. Uh, you may have different religions, you know, different beliefs, whatever it is. But that is that you're not going to put the work in it. You're keeping your options open here. Yeah, and I feel like that's the truth. And you may tell this person too, you know, you're just not interested. You're just not on the same page. You have different paths. You have different, you know, ways of dealing with things. Yeah, you're holding back because you've looked at the details. There's something to do with the balance here. And you're definitely holding back. But you have, I feel like you have someone here that you're holding on to as well. You may be rejecting other offers because you're holding on to something. You're definitely saving your money. Yeah, you're looking at the details. I think you know this is some, but it's not really worth putting the effort in. And that's you holding back. You're just not so sure. 
Tell me about the love. Let's get a little more clarity. You know, there's the bond, a connection, it's love. Yeah, so there is definitely a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. There's someone who may be making plans. Uh, they're pulling back. They're seeing things different. This is, you know, there's some kind of chemistry, but there's a temptation. But there's things that need to be learned. There's something this person wants to know. It could be, I mean, for some of you, it could be a boss, someone you worked with. You know, and they see the possibilities. I feel they like the way you work. Uh, they see you. Someone here sees you as a keeper. So you've got someone who's a keeper and someone who isn't. <laughs> Right, then now you've got the earth sign energy. Gemini, Taurus, Gemini, Taurus, Cusp, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me about this temptation. What is this temptation about? Someone's looking at the details. Yeah, there is something. Yeah, wow. Stable, grounded, practical, someone who has your back. This is two people who have each other's back, two people who are financially stable. You want someone who's a keeper. You want someone who plans for the future. Beautiful energy, really. And I feel he will make the right decision, but this is telling you there isn't someone who's going to tempt you. You're tempted, but I don't think you're going to go for it. Uh, and then there's another person here. So I feel like you're holding back. You're just looking at things different. And you may have a person from the past, possibly, or someone who's in your energy around you that is looking at all the possibilities here. Uh, they're working through things very slow. They're very meticulous, taking their time. Yeah, there's someone who may be asking you out. This is someone who travels maybe even in your social circle. You may have met this person in the past. They may be thinking of reaching out on social media. So, wow, yeah, there's someone who's looking at everything, though. They're kind of holding back. They're, I feel like you've got someone who sees you different. If you met somebody some time ago, it could be on online dating, social media, out in your community, anywhere. This is someone who, you know, they kind of see you as a keeper. They're looking at things, but they're just holding back for some reason. Maybe as they feel you have other people, you're dating somebody else, they don't really know for sure if you're in any kind of a commitment, but they're tempted to reach out. Tell me about that three of cups. Yeah, something's happening. I feel like someone's planning something. Yeah, you have a new person, possibly, or there's something coming to light. You got someone checking you out, most definitely, and I feel they're about to make a decision, but they're holding back. That's what I see the energy, and I do see you moving away from something or somebody no, it's just it's just that four of cups energy that's that energy and it's down here as well and i do feel like you have a taurus and i feel like you communicate very clearly very honestly and i don't think you're on the same page i don't think this is going to work and that's what you're just the offer's not good enough or there's just they're just not right for you and yeah, because you're looking at this right you have something else that maybe you're holding on to as well Another person, another energy, definitely saving money. You're looking at something here. Yeah, you're very focused on career and finances. You're focusing on yourself. You want someone who focuses on you. You want someone who sees your value and your worth. And I feel like you have someone that does. Could be someone you work with. It could be someone you worked with in the past. It could be a boss. But you want that person that's on the same page, on the same path. Tell me about... Yeah, you're definitely, you want someone who sees that value. They want, you want someone who, I feel like what you want is someone who is focused on career and finances as well. You want somebody who uh, knows what they want, isn't, isn't afraid to go after it. So I see a Leo energy. So there could be somebody here with some Leo in their chart. So somebody is about to expose something. They want to start something with you. So some of you, it's a new person. Uh, you may meet this person, it's quite possible, but I also feel you got someone who's wondering if you have met someone new, <laughs> okay? there you got a few people, most definitely, no matter how I try to uh, look at this, you've got a couple of people, and I do feel like you're not interested in most of the people that are coming towards you. You're just kind of walking away, you're looking for the real deal. So I do feel like you're about to take some kind of action, like you want to have some fun, uh, you want somebody who challenges you. You want to have a good time. Uh, you want to be on the same page. You want someone who builds you up. But there's something here, some kind of obstacle or challenges here. Tell me about that five of 
wands energy for Aries there we go yeah so this is manifesting so yeah wow you've got somebody manifesting you they're ready to take action they have all the tools they need but this is that emotional offer this is yourself because you're going to manifest this by taking action I feel like you're very focused uh, very passionate you know what you want you're not settling you know that's it you're just holding back you want you know what you want beautiful you want somebody who's worth holding on to, somebody who's worth putting all the effort into it. So it does look like you have some options, but I feel like you're more focused on work uh, right now. Yes, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Get a little more clarity there. Sometimes there's hidden messages in here, and I don't want to overlook them. Yeah, I see very... Uh, there's a lot of strength here. You are very strong. You are very focused. You work very hard. I feel like you want somebody who's like that as well. Like that's the strengths. You see the possibilities or someone seeing the possibilities with you. So it could be somebody who's got their eye on you at work or they're watching you work. Tell me more about strength. Yeah, being brave, strong, very confident energy. Someone may be trying to gain that strength and confidence to come in and put that effort in. And it does take a lot of effort. Like you see the possibilities possibly, but I do see you holding back. Uh, you definitely want someone who's coming in with that right energy, someone who builds you up. You want to build something solid with somebody. You want someone who has your back, vice versa. I see financial stability, commitment in the future. But right now it's just a temptation for either you or this person. Tell me about this Ace of Cups and we'll wrap this up, Aries. Yeah, it's looking good. It looks like there's either a new person that, or you may meet somebody new or somebody wants to know maybe where you're hanging out, what you're up to, where you go so they can start something. If somebody wants to express things, something is about to be illuminated. This is that truth. And you get a lot of that. This is clear communication with that truth. So I do feel like you got a person who's trying to gain some info. You know, they could be. Uh, they're not so sure yet about this truth. This is somebody who's, this is that seven of, of swords energy right here. Someone who's trying to figure out something. They're trying to figure you out. They're just not sure. And it could be yourself trying to figure something out here. And you're just holding back. And I feel like you're just focusing on yourself right now. I, I don't feel like you're in any kind of hurry. I feel like you're, you know what you want. You want the real deal. You want love. You want that reciprocity. And there is one person here. You want that king of cups. Yeah, you're single. You're looking out for yourself. You have everything that you need. There's this offer. Yeah, you're looking out for number one here. So I do see you wanting it. I do see there are options. There are possibilities. Someone here wants to know if you're single before they come forward. That's what I feel. Somebody wants to offer you something. They want to know you're single. You're open, but you're definitely being cautious. Yeah, there's definitely, it's a bit of a mystery. Mm -hmm. Someone's not so sure if you're single. It's a little bit of a mystery. There might be a little bit of confusion here, something hidden, something that a person needs to know. But I feel there's something to do with deep feelings. Somebody may have a secret. It could be a secret admirer. Like I said, it's like you got someone who's watching you, somebody who's thinking about you, more than likely social media, dating site, or out in your community, wherever it is that you go. But I see you starting to focus on love. I see you starting to think about going out, taking action, having a good time, uh, doing things. Uh, to help bring in that stability. But work is definitely a priority. And I do feel there is, it is possible this is a mystery person. I see Cancer Pisces energy. Could be uh, somebody's moon energy, their emotional energy. You want an emotional connection too. You may have someone yourself that you're, you have a connection with, that you have emotions for. Uh, you may be keeping it to yourself as well. It could be you, Aries. But you know what you want. You want that wish come true. You want that cup. But I feel anyone who comes in, you're going to make sure they value you. You're not rushing into anything. You're very much in your power. Okay, with all these cards here, you're very much in your power. And I feel you're definitely balanced. You're controlling your emotions. You're not going to offer a whole lot until you're sure. But there is some kind of connection here that is quite strong. And I feel like whatever it is, it's kind of building, which is interesting. Some of you, it's definitely a work thing. 
So let's grab some outcome cards and see where this is going. Yeah, there is definitely a temptation, but there's something hidden, you see. There's someone here. I think you have a mystery person who's kind of pulling back. Uh, they're looking at this energy. They're being very patient, waiting for an opportunity. Could be someone from your past. I'll say it again. I do feel that energy here. Someone who sees you different than before. Or maybe it's yourself. Could be someone you met some time ago. All right, where's this headed, Aries? Overall energy surrounding you. The outcome of this situation. There we go. Two cards, Aries. Yeah, going the distance. Wow. Yeah, there's someone who's thinking about going the distance. They see the possibilities. It could be yourself, but this is that energy of taking that leap of faith. Time to go. Okay, so I feel like there's someone here who's waiting for the opportunity to reach out. They're a little cautious, careful what they wish for. It's possible, you know, that you are, it may not work out or, you know, I, I feel like this is someone who's cautious about who they offer up their feelings to. They're kind of holding back right now. I think you got... Some of you, it's a secret admirer. Someone is just watching from a distance. But you have somebody who, you know, you've got somebody fantasizing. This is that moon energy, but there's everything isn't revealed yet. So it's just kind of up in this person's head. They're strategizing, they're thinking. And this is about taking that leap of faith. And I also feel this is a person who knows that eventually you're going to go off with another person. Eventually you're going to take that leap of faith. I feel like you're really ready for love. and uh, But I do feel there's things that need to be known. Just watch that uh, energy. There's someone here where maybe they're imagining things with you. Uh, they're up in their head. There's a lack of clarity. And then we have that timing. Yeah, time's running out. There's someone who feels time is running out. And I do feel like you're thinking that too. Like it's time to just go. It's time to just get out there. Don't waste any more time. You certainly don't want anybody who wastes your time. I don't think you're easily tempted. I think you want something solid. And I feel like you're not afraid to uh, take action if you want to. But I feel there's this manifesting. You may have several people manifesting you uh, and thinking about this. So prepare yourself uh, with that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Maybe you have some of that energy in your chart where you just want to go slow. Uh, just be careful because it's that be careful what you wish for. But yeah, I feel like you got someone here who they could be at a distance. It's possible. But I feel this is someone who's thinking about going to, to you know, the distance. That they know that you're going to go off and uh, meet someone else because you're, you, I mean, there may be gossip, talk. You may have put something on social media, some of you, uh, that you're ready to start something. Uh, there's something here this person's trying to gain clarity about. Some of you, it could be a Taurus, but I really feel like there's going to possibly be a rejection. I could be wrong. You might not be sure you're on the same page, the same path. Yeah, you want someone who's on the same page. Yeah, there's someone here that wants to connect. You you want that soulmate energy. This could be a friend too. This could be somebody who wants to take things to another level. They could be just a friend. Uh, soulmate's energy. So I feel like whatever it is, it's good. It's very positive energy for you. I feel like you're focused on yourself. You want someone who focuses on you in the right way because you're in that protective mode. You're looking out for your best interest here. So you will make a solid decision. I don't think you've decided yet. Uh, if you've got a couple people reaching out, possibly some of you, if you have that energy, you haven't really decided which way to go yet because you just know what you want. But I think someone's about to take action and reach out to you. You may go for it if it, you know, if things work out the way you want it to. So I wish you the best here, Aries. Keep your eyes open. It could be a secret admirer, someone who's watching from a distance, checking you out and getting ready to express themselves and start something. So take care. Bye for now.